Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, big Bob. Big, big Bob. How are ya? Well, I'm here on Glendale Boulevard, kind of heading towards Alvarado. I'm gonna get down to the the old Home Depot. Yeah, Home Depot. Yep, good old Home Depot. I'm gonna get some oil based rustoleum. Might get me a. Might get me one of them uh, deals that has the peanuts in it and the uh, caramel. Have a little snack bar there. Yep. <laughs> How are you today? I oh, that reminds you. I got to mail this letter. I mail in a letter. Here it is. Mail in this official letter, the official government stamp, and I'm going to mail it out to a, a dear friend of mine that doesn't have any access to technology. A lot of my senior friends don't have any access to technology, and uh, I'm going to mail this letter out because I can't. Uh, I, mean, I got to see this car. Look at that. Quick look, quick look. Can you see it? Look. Well, I thought my car was peculiar. Huh. That's very, look at that. Very peculiar. Huh. Talk about peculiar people. I'm certainly qualified for that. So I'm mailing this out to this dear, dear friend of mine. I'm basically, I quoted a couple scriptures. One scripture I quoted was, was that how can you say you love God who you can't see when you don't even love your neighbor you can see? So I quoted that scripture. I also quoted 1 Corinthians 13. I said, well, you know, love. We don't have love. We're lost. We can do all the, the greatest things on earth. We can have the Barnum and Bailey circus on a string but we ain't got love, we ain't got nothing. We ain't got nothing, honey. We ain't got nothing. Since this person doesn't have technology, I tried calling a couple of times and found that the uh, response was a click. It wasn't, there was no answer. It was just click, a, 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 a click. So I said, you know what? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to write them a letter and basically plead for restoration, plead for communication, plead for there to be at least a sense that <coughs> at least plead for the sense that there is a uh, a restoration of relationship. You know, I, I maybe said something. Maybe they're having a bad day. Maybe they had a bad burrito. I don't know, but something something is is off. So I'm 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 taking the step forward. I confess my sins. I said I'm not perfect. I love what they said yesterday at the, <coughs> at the service. They said that really good people really smart people can be very hurtful in what they say. Not because they, they intend to be, but just because they, they just, they, they can be. And so they don't intend to be hurtful, but they just, they become kind of hurtful, you know. It's just, uh, it's really something. 
All right, we got kind of a situation here. We're on Alvarado, and people are wanting to make a left, and <coughs> sunset. And you can't do it during the week, but. Apparently today is okay. Apparently today is like a perfectly good time to, to do that. Hmm. All right, well that was my update. I'm going to Home Depot, I'm going to get the oil base for Stolium. I wrote my letter. I have another letter that I'm going to email to a, a very dear, dear brother. And I am doing all that I can, in Jesus' name, to be peacemaker, be the one who uh, <coughs> seeks Seeks, re re uh, seeks reconciliation and it's a lot of extra work for me really it's a lot of extra work because you know I'd, I'd be better off just not putting in the, the time and the effort I had to pay two dollars for parking which is like <coughs> so I didn't like paying two dollars for parking plus I paid for postage plus I had to spend the time writing and it's just a lot of bitter bother for people that you know that they're just like well I don't know I don't know where they're at I don't know what they're doing I'm busy I'm happy I've got a good life I don't need to have I don't need to have any drama in my life so you know I'm making the effort. That's the Christian thing to do. That's the godly thing to do. That's the way to, to win friends, influence enemies, is you gotta do the right thing. <coughs> even if it doesn't, even if it doesn't really, you know, isn't really, a lot of people wouldn't bother. Well, you know, but that's why they don't have many friends. That's why they don't have long term friends. I always try to keep track of everybody I know and, uh, you know, maintain an interest. TD, Bishop Jakes was uh, saying yesterday that if you aren't learning about your wife, if you aren't learning about your husband, if you aren't learning, if you weren't asking questions, if you were not in pursuit, if you weren't a learner about your spouse, that your marriage was going to be doomed because if you don't, <coughs> if you, you think you know everything, there's something radically wrong there. That's not going to work. No, you need to, you need to constantly be learning. <coughs> constantly be interested. Show that you're interested. Show that you're you're in romance, show that the mystery is still there, show that. So, of course, I, I agree with that 100%. If you ever, you know, have a feeling, well, I, I just kind of criticize someone that means a lot to me. It's better not to criticize them, it's better to ask questions. Better to say, hey, why are you doing that? What's your thought? What are you thinking? And then, and then after they tell you, they go, oh, okay, that's maybe an idea. I think I'll try that. We're downtown LA now, boy. This is, they got stuff. That I'll show you. You won't believe it. Like, they have the sidewalks all covered. They just have it all laid on the sidewalks, all covered with stuff. It's like Santee Alley. It's like Santee Alley here, but it's, uh, it's Sandy Alley, but it's right here in L.A. And they normally have it on Wilshire, but 
now it's expanded up here to six. It's, you know, people are just laying everything out, covering the sidewalks. Well, give me a call. One two one three seven one three eight nine five four eight nine five four green att that net on the Twitter, Mr. Bob at Bob Bob eight nine five four. And of course, you're watching Bob's Daily Depot here on YouTube, where I'm just living life in Jesus, living the la vida loco here. Talk to you soon. God bless.